like a ball of sticky sap spitting out from a giant dog's chin. Wild Hearts review code arrived hot and fast earlier this week. So while other outlets will have their final verdict on Omega Force's Monster Tattoo Simulator today, I'm afraid I haven't had a chance to play it enough yet to shake it up fairly. Still good, I really like this one. And as a huge Monster Hunter fan, I'm glad it's finally a worthy alternative to Capcom's long-running series. Competition is good, as I suspected Wild Hearts is a proper Monster Hunter clone from start to finish. You are traveling to one of several relatively large regions with the intention of killing a very large monster. You attack said monster using a ridiculously large weapon. Fights are long and fierce. Tough. Monsters come in multiple forms and are determined to kick in the ass and kill you by crushing under their hooves, claws, claws. In the end, they will go around to lick their wounds and you will show up like a mosquito with a gun to save them from this misery. You'll happily rip off their appendages before turning them into a nice pair of shoes or a sharper, more dangerous sword. Watch it on YouTube you can see the game in action by watching the trailer above. A rhythm I'm intimately familiar with at this point is one Wild Hearts has copied so effectively that it can be easy to forget it's actually something completely new. But new and with this freshness comes a few interesting ideas that give Wild Hearts a distinctive identity. The biggest of these is the Karakuri, a power that allows you to summon structures from nothing during a battle. Climbing a chest tower allows you to launch a devastating attack from above. A bow will distract you from the approaching tusks of an attacking pig. A torch envelops your sword with flames and increases your damage against enemies weak to fire. Put together certain combinations and you will create a powerful mechanism that can stagger an enemy. Three arcs create a massive vibrating hammer that instantly flattens a monster. Six vaults form a wall that repels a crushing giant. It is an essential part of the game's combat which are special moves that are physically placed on the battlefield and can be destroyed by an angry creature. There is a great sense of tactility towards them. A kind of junk. In Wild Hearts you are more of a desperate inventor than a legendary superhero. Here is a box. There's a fire stick. Aha! A ball that shoots fireworks. He'll get that pesky chicken in his way. They're visually more interesting and less restrictive than Rise's wiring bugs. There is a loadout you can unlock and play with. This huge pig is the first challenge the game has to offer you. It is very important to build a solid wall to prevent a violent offensive attack. But while the Karakuri system has a decent amount of complexity, the same cannot be said for warfare in general. Weapons are fun to use and each feels different in hands. But the game lacks depth that makes Monster Hunter so compelling. Now I'm not saying that this is necessarily a bad thing. Overall I think this is a smart move by Omega Force to make Wild Hearts taste better for newcomers. Than your average Monster Hunter version. Let's face it, Mon Hunt is intense. Complex and frustrating for those unfamiliar with the series. By comparison, Wild Hearts feels accessible and welcoming introduces a short training fight, Karakuri call, weapon upgrade, armor creation. When you're ready to take action, you can go hunting by selecting a monster icon from the map. While the main story takes you to new islands, it's not perfect, but it's definitely less overwhelming. And I think that makes a huge difference. If Monster Hunter's edges are too sharp for you, Wild Hearts rounded corners might be just what you're looking for. I hate this big chicken with the burning passion of a thousand suns. The attack patterns are so brutal that it really pissed me off. Still, it's not all good news. According to the developer's own admission, Wild Hearts is experiencing noticeable performance issues on PC. Hardware editor James has confirmed that the game is severely bottlenecked by the CPU which causes frequent hangs and a general jolt that makes everything feel half-baked. Omega Force has committed to resolving issue as quickly as possible.
But that doesn't change the fact that game will start in a not so favorable situation. Wild Hearts is perfectly playable. But waiting for this upcoming patch might not be a bad idea. Especially for those with mid-range hardware. So, at this point, here I am. Wild Hearts is good, of course. Time will tell if it has the depth and complexity to keep me busy a few hours after its launch. But right now I'm desperate to go back. There's a chicken that's been bothering me a bit. You know, and I think it's time I introduced its beak to my big comedy hammer.